On October 30, 2024, South Korea's Ministry of Defense briefed lawmakers on alarming developments indicating North Korea's readiness for a seventh nuclear test and an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM launch. Intelligence suggests these actions may be timed to coincide with the U.S. presidential election on November 5th, raising significant concerns about regional and global security. The confidential briefing revealed that North Korea has completed preparations for a nuclear test at its Pungiri site. Key equipment and launch units are reportedly in position for an ICBM launch aimed at demonstrating atmospheric re-entry capabilities. South Korean military intelligence also noted signs of troop mobilization in Russia, with some North Korean units reportedly joining the front lines in the Kursk region, where Russian forces are facing Ukrainian counteroffensives. This strategic maneuver underscores the growing alliance between Pyongyang and Moscow amidst the ongoing Ukraine conflict, which North Korea appears to be exploiting to bolster its military activities. In recent months, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has ramped up displays of military power, accelerating missile tests and revealing a secret military-grade uranium production facility in September. According to South Korean intelligence, a mobile launcher, likely a recently showcased 12-axle model, has been deployed for an ICBM launch that could potentially reach U.S. territory. South Korean President Yoon Suk-yeol has warned that North Korea might orchestrate significant military provocations surrounding U.S. elections to exert pressure on Washington and its allies. The anticipated ICBM launch may involve a missile such as the Wasong-18, which would test the durability of re-entry technology, crucial for ensuring a warhead survives the extreme heat and friction encountered during atmospheric re-entry. Historically, North Korea has conducted ICBM tests at steep angles to minimize range and avoid infringing on neighboring territories. However, analysts suggest that a standard trajectory test would signify a substantial advancement in North Korea's missile program, confirming its capability to target distant locations, including the U.S. mainland. Since 2022, tensions on the Korean peninsula have escalated, particularly following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. This geopolitical climate has provided North Korea with a unique opportunity to advance its nuclear and missile programs with reduced international scrutiny. Recent reports from South Korean authorities leave little doubt regarding Kim Jong-un's intentions to continue developing weapons of mass destruction while forging alliances with non-Western powers like Russia. For decades, North Korea has pursued nuclear capabilities as a deterrent against perceived threats. By leveraging asymmetric armament strategies to compensate for the limitations of its conventional forces, Pyongyang has made significant strides in nuclear warhead miniaturization and ICBM development, exemplified by models such as the Wasong-14 and Wasong-15. These advancements position North Korea as a credible nuclear power capable of targeting the U.S., intensifying geopolitical pressures on the United States and its allies. As North Korea strategically positions itself on the world stage, the United States and its regional allies are closely monitoring these developments to anticipate potential threats. The prospect of a nuclear test and ICBM launch coinciding with the U.S. election period introduces an unsettling atmosphere, highlighting the necessity of international vigilance. The situation underscores the urgent need for diplomatic efforts to address North Korea's nuclear ambitions while ensuring stability in the region.